Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Skoda Kodiak uh, Lauren and Clement on a 73 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that from the key just here or from the tailgate itself. As we then approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This is a seven seat vehicle, so all seven seats are in place at the moment. But as you see, with them folded out, you get lots of additional space. You can also fold down what are now the rear seats uh, to give you even more space again, should you wish to do that. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car. And then as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. A great looking car as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the far left hand side, we have the coolant temperature gauge, then the trip computer, the rev counter, the digital readout for the speedometer above, which will show you uh, what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so we of course are in park at the moment. Over on the far right hand side, we have the fuel gauge for the car. We back out to the steering wheel next. On the left hand side, we have stereo controls. We have our heated steering wheel. On the right hand side, we have buttons that will change the uh, layout of the dials that you see just here. Uh, fully customizable. There's loads of different options that you can see me going through there to a point where you can even change the size of your speedometer, as you can see. So uh, yeah, very, very customizable in terms of that layout. Uh, we've also got the minus and plus paddle so that you can change up and down the gear manually with this automatic gearbox and then cruise control on this stalk underneath. In the center, we have the main touch screen. So on here, we're on the main menu at the moment, you can swipe through all of the different options available to you there, uh, or you can use the uh, buttons down the sides should you wish to. So when it comes to the radio, first of all, uh, you'll see that this car has got uh, radio or DAB radio, I should say. Uh, it's also down the bottom here, got FM, internet radio, uh, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your own music wirelessly should you wish to do so. Uh, My Media, uh, which is where you can save your own playlists, etc. Uh, you can go back to the main menu at any time from there. Smart Link will allow you to project certain Skoda friendly apps up onto this screen. Uh, and obviously, once you've had up your phone, of course, uh, we've got vehicle, uh, sound options, your air conditioning. So. We do have physical controls for this, which I'll come back to in a moment, but otherwise you can make adjustments to the passenger and driver temperature from here. You can turn your air conditioner off and on again, should you wish to, you can even change the fan speed up here as well. We've got our heated front screen. As I say, there are physical controls for that, which we'll come to in just a moment. Uh, we have our satellite navigation, a really nice clear color display, very easy to use. We can swipe through to the next screen and you can see all of the different options available to you on there. Now, if I pop the vehicle into reverse, you'll also see that we've got a 360 parking camera. So a reversing camera just here with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in and then a bird's eye view image of exactly where the car is parked right now. Below that, we have the physical controls for your uh, dual zone climate control. So we can adjust the passenger temperature, driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can turn your air conditioning off and on from here. We've got our heated front screen. So exactly the same options, um, but with buttons, potentially a lot easier to use whilst actually driving along. Uh, you can hit auto. The car will now take full control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Any manual adjustment will take auto off and allow you to put it back on your own settings. We've also got uh, both air conditioned or cooling seats and heated seats. As soon as you push that button, uh, you'll see that you have the option for heating and cooling. And if you've not had cooling seats before, uh, they are fantastic. Uh, over on the passenger side, exactly the same option available or options available to you there. Underneath that, uh, we have some storage, wireless charging for your phone inside here, as well as a 12 volt charging socket there. Uh, we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And you can see on there, it shows that it's a four by four. And then finally, these buttons here. So you can change the driving modes of the car, 
We've got an automatic hold for the electronic handbrake. We can turn our traction control on and off. And if you're gonna take the vehicle off road, you can do so uh, by hitting that button and the car will take control of uh, the offside or the off-road elements of everything for you. The last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. First of all, there is a sun blind, uh, which will open all the way to the back of the rear seats. Um, you can leave it like this, of course, and as you'll see, this will let in a huge amount of extra light to this cabin area. But if you wish to, you can open this front section as a full-size sliding sunroof as well. And you can stop that at any point you wish to. Um, and of course, close that back up. And as I said, leave this like that. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the paperwork we have for this car. So in the envelope uh, to the left here, we have the spare key. So two keys in total. The V5 registration document showing that this is a two owner car from new. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.